President Muhammadu Buhari has acknowledged that closing Nigeria's border for more than a year has not prevented illicit arms from entering the country. On Thursday evening, the President announced this in a statement released by his media aide Femi Adeshino. According to the President, the proliferation of weapons in the Sahel region will not stop as long as Libya remains stable. He said that Gaddafi recruited many militants from various countries to remain in power for a long time and that many of the militants fled Libya with their weapons after Gaddafi was killed. Buhari made a statement just hours after Chief Sunday Igbowo promised to reopen the federal government's closed southwest borders. Igbowo announced that Yoruba, had, Yoruba land is no longer a part of Nigeria, lamented that there is hunger in the land as a result of President Buhari's closure of the country's borders. He pledged to reopen the borders and take charge of Yoruba land's international airports and seaports. He also claimed that Fulanis in the Lagos seaports and semi-border areas should leave immediately because he will mobilize his boys to take charge of the facilities as soon as possible. Well, uh, these are the things that we've been hearing. And you know that uh, these people are not really, they are not proactive. I mean the government, the Buhari who is not saying that, uh, oh, despite the closure of borders, it has not really yielded the expected results, the, uh, the, the, the expected or the really think could happen. Of course, they know the reason why they are doing all of this is they will talk about closure of border. Uh, when they close border, then uh, because of uh, all the illegal things coming in, oh, we want to build our own economy, we want to do this. People, they encouraged people to go into farming. And people started going into farming. The next thing we heard, we started seeing is the S-men coming to eat up all those crops. Because they will tell you, oh, uh, bushes are for, or the forests are for the S-men. But we have a um farms all around around a uh, uh, residential area where people have already cultivated the map out for their farming and business that is where these people will go they will open their eyes nobody is saying anything that why should you go to somebody else's farm it's not as if it is a um, what do they call it uncultivated uh, land a place that has been cultivated that have you know, things that have been planted they they will go there and will begin to eat it up and nobody is saying anything and they will tell you it is because of climate change. Climate change, they will not go to other people's business and begin to destroy it. Yet, the people cannot even produce what they, 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 what they really want, as even they have told them, encouraged them for everybody to go into farming. And that is what is causing all this problem. Before now, the president said that it is the opposition. And people say, ah, if uh, the opposition are the ones causing the problem, that means it has already made, it, made your work easier. Go after them. At some point, again, he said Libya, he said Gaddafi. Later again, they say it's climate change. Oh, again, they say some uh, unscrupulous uh, elements. They are the ones. So they don't even understand what they are talking about. Now you have closed border. The same way they always uh, lock this uh, ATM. They will tell you, you can't you withdraw. You can't do this and that. At the end of the day, they will still come back and still reopen all of those things. Meaning, by the, by the time they do that, things must have degenerated to where everybody will be complaining. Things must have spoiled. I don't just understand. Today, that is why you see that uh, foreign investments are not coming. Then they are not coming because we don't have a stable, a, a stable policy right from time. It's back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and whatever they are going to be doing is just going to be within when they are in, in in power. They don't even plan for a long term uh, program. It's always about immediate, 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 and that is why this country is not moving forward. You will say you want to start a business before you know they will just bring another policy in another six or three months they will bring another policy everything will just everything will just be scattered i don't understand well why una like 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 okay uh, but una no feel open northern border but close our own border to suffer us oh do that nation must be must stand we don't like to live with cows and 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 terrorists again truth be told let Chief Igbowo limit his uh, separatist agitation within the ambit of law. The agitation so far have been going on, going on in step, step ladder, step ladder version within the perimeters of legality. Let us keep it in that uh, direction. We should not allow the language of chaos to dominate over the language of diplomacy and tact. We should not allow the taunting of the valueless mind, minded creatives to get to him to the point of exaggeration that will prompt him to irrationality okay oh someone says continue speaking grammar hmm. Uludu, what do you know 
Wari government is totally confused. Besides, Nigeria is too big for one man to control peacefully. Let Igbo Yoruba go and let each country manage themselves. Well, which Nigeria too big to control or the government of the day are dishonest? Okay, you will live long. I beg, come out for road. Now, Agbiru, talk. We need the borders to be opened with immediate effect. The northern borders cannot be opened for Fulani's free entry and smuggle why southern borders are closed for our starvation who voted buari good luck is too bad buari is too good ndiara you people have not seen anything yet Igbo, don't put lord into your hands nigeria is bigger than only one person to control you can never try this during abacha and obasanjo regime allow peace to reign in yoruba land yes you have tried tried kudos to you bros but don't trespass with a residency just let him continue to say whatever he likes. Those who are healing him today will mock him later. Yoruba uh, are known for that. What are you guys talking about? If Igbo can do so with the radical approach better, the entire problem and ethnic division is caused by the presidency's long protection of the inhuman Fulanese. You can't be the Nigeria's president and kept mom to gruesome killings majority perpetrated by your tribe fulani brothers and your body language and actions give us your land for grazing to live in peace then contend or drag your drag yours to live beneath is such irritated statement aired out from a country's presidential spokesman shows we are not in in one country sonny Bowo is our man the husband of buari god is behind you carry go Okay, you do it, weak man. Nigeria will remain as one. The issue of supplying arms is not from brother, from border is by air transportation. Okay, that breakup you Northerners are afraid of uh, will happen. And guess what? It will be in your lifetime very, very soon than you expect. Go and note it down. The border in the north are wide open and the southern borders are closed. Are we stupid or what? Are we second class indigenous in our country land? With what is the essence of not uh, traveling? Okay, what is now the essence of not traveling then to live there? So we are still on this issue. The northern borders are open, these other places are, are closed, and you are saying people should go by law. You know, when you don't do things rightly, this is what you get. If you do the, the abnormal, you, you get abnormal results. So guys, let's say your opinion on this.